Yesterday, DC posted a brand new Flash trailer, and I thought some of the 3D graphics were amazing. But honestly, who cares about the Flash? They know what we want, Batman. I wanted to see if I could remake the last scene of the trailer. This epic shot of Batman flying through the sky after jumping out of the bat plane. You're strapped to your parachutes. It went yours! But there is a catch. I'm gonna try and do it under an hour. This is gonna be crazy. Let's go. I started by searching for some models. I needed one for the plane and for Batman. I searched on CG Trader and Sketchfab, and I did find some really nice models, including the holy grail of bat planes. But I can't afford that. I eventually settled on this three 3D printing model, since all I really needed is the shape. Next, I needed to find Batman himself. Again, I found some really nice models, but they were just way too expensive. Eventually, I found this amazing unrigged model on Sketchfab that should be perfect. Next, I opened up Blender and yeeted the default cube out of existence. And in its place, I put the bat plane. There were a couple errors since this was a 3D printing model, but after fixing some of the geometry and adding a texture, this will do just fine. Next, I need to figure out how I'm gonna do the sky, because let's be honest, the sky is really what makes this shot epic. So I made a plane and parented it to the camera. I found this absolutely perfect nighttime sky image, and after some modifications, everything lined up perfectly. Next, I brought in the man himself, Batman. I brought him in, added on his textures, and exported him out as an FBX. I needed to bring him onto an online source called Mixamo. Now, what Mixamo does is really amazing. It would take me several hours to properly rig this character, but Mixamo can do it in seconds. So I imported it into Mixamo, added these little points to make it rig properly, and now we can do things like this. Oh yeah. I found an animation that worked perfectly and exported it out of Mixamo and re-imported it back into Blender, now with the new animation on. Now that we've got Batman with this animation, I've got to animate the camera to make it look more of this handheld look. Now just some lighting adjustments and time to render. Now that all the images are rendered, this is what we have. Oh, this is gonna be so cool. Moving into After Effects now, I just wanna change and tweak a couple things to make this look even more epic. I added a couple cloud and dust filters over Batman to make him feel like he's more in the scene. I also added a vignette and a couple lighting changes to make this match the original more. I clicked export on Adobe After Effects. And we are now done. Here's the final result. Isn't this so good? I was so happy I was able to make this under an hour. This challenge was a lot of fun, and if you enjoyed it too, maybe leave a like and a comment down below saying you did, and we can do this again some other time. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you have a great day. See you later.